Bethel Makana Jesus Girls High School in Addis Ababa and Deborah Zaid Makana Jesus College are some of these schools. She also runs childcare programs like home-based and institution-based childcare in hostels and community-based child developments in different parts of the country. One of these childcare programs is located in Desi Town, North Ethiopia, supporting more than 300 orphaned and needy children. The services include food, medical supplies, and educational supports. Many children who grew up under this care and support program have successfully completed their high school vocational training and university education. Today, several of these students have become self-reliant. The EECMY desk has already established schools that are meant for special needs education for deaf and mentally challenged children in different parts of the country. The Hosanna and Nakemta deaf schools are some examples. These schools have educated large numbers of hearing impaired children and youth. Many of these students are currently serving the community and the country in different fields. The EECMY Center for Mentally Challenged Children, located at Addis Ababa, is also giving effective services to the mentally challenged children, and through its services many families have gotten relief. Arba Minch EECMY Vocational Training College is a technical college that has been training students in technical skills like woodwork, metalwork, auto mechanics, information technology, and electricity. Parallel to such trainings, the college also gives other related services. The EECMY DASC has also constructed the Tulget Elementary School among the Suri community. The school has been an eye-opener for the Suri community. Today, there are about 500 students attending their education regularly in this school. Mr. Barari, one of the first four students, has graduated from Gondar University with a BA degree in economics, and now he is working in one of the government's organizations. And this project has contributed many things to the Suri people. EECMY DASC has been providing health services and health facilities to the Ethiopian people as early as when there were minimum and low levels of such services in the country. At present DASC has numbers of health institutions in many parts of the country. Aira Hospital is one of the EECMY DASC health institutions located in a rural area. It has a good reputation from the services it gives at the national level. The hospital has been delivering service for over 80 years. Millions of people have benefited since its commencement. It also has been training nurses and health assistants. Gidoli Hospital is another hospital with a large capacity providing vital health services to the local community. Recently the hospital is under process to be handed over to the government after many decades of service to the rural community. The Achamo Health Center is one of the health facilities located very close to the rural community in Lemu District, Hadia Zone. It gives a wide range of health services including treatment and awareness creation. In addition to institution-based health services, DASC provides teaching and awareness creation on various health-related issues. The EECMY DASC is one of the pioneers in fighting against negative impact of HIV and AIDS, and it has been endeavoring in counseling, caring, and supporting those who are already caught with incurable diseases like HIV AIDS. It has been providing such services in towns located in different corners of the country, like Hosaina, Kombolcha, Gimbi, Nekemte, and Jima. Care and support is delivered to many individuals of different ages and both genders living with HIV. The EECMY DASC assisted them to form an association to develop income generating activities like producing and selling bricks. It usually trains and equips these associations with needed resources to commence their activities. There are also many orphan children who lost their parents due to HIV AIDS and the DASC is supporting them in many places of the country. Some of these have been receiving cash for food, clothing and house rents, school materials and medication regularly. It also created jobs for a number of women who are working as commercial sex workers and for a number of poor men so that they can be productive and protect themselves from being infected by the HIV. It provided this group with needed trainings, finance and materials according to their field of interest, like beauty salon, sewing machine, 
agriculture, metalwork, and barbary. Today, some of these have already begun leading good lives. Acting fast in response to severe humanitarian crises due to natural and man-made disasters is one of the program priorities of the EECMY desk. During these crises it responded promptly together with her partners to save the lives of affected people. People of the Madawalabu district, southeast Ethiopia were one of the most vulnerable communities to these disasters. Since 1985 there has been recurrent severe drought, which has resulted in the loss of lives and livestock. During these years it intervened and supplied emergency relief to save human lives and carried out rehabilitation activities that include the provision of livestock, seeds and farm tools for future sustainable livelihood. The majority of the district people benefited out of this humanitarian intervention. The comprehensive supports of the desks returned this area to a stable situation. With generous support from its partners, the ECMI desk was able to reach the enriched and most needy and most vulnerable segment of the society across the nation. I would like to emphasize that the ECMI desk carried out all these vital activities in partnership with sister churches, church-related agencies, national and international organizations with active participation and ownership of the local communities. It invests a large amount of funds every year to implement these projects and programs. In the year 2010 alone, EECMY Desk invested 233.2 million Ethiopian burr, or about 14 million U.S. dollars to finance these projects and programs. Similarly, within the last three years, it has invested more than 543 millions of burr, or 32.5 million U.S. dollars. For the future, the EECMY desk has designed a five-year strategic plan to serve the Ethiopian people effectively and efficiently. To materialize this plan, it needs the support of the EECMY and its members, communities, the Ethiopian government, and partners. Therefore, it invites you and me and all interested individuals, groups, or organizations to extend our support to contribute to the welfare of our people. The EECMY desk can be contacted through one of the following addresses. Mm -hmm.